What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com. Tonight I'm going to be talking about a horror flick that came out not too long ago. I'm in a few horror movie Facebook groups and everybody have, has been talking about this next movie I'm about to review. I'm talking about Overlord uh, from Bad Robot, J.J. Abrams' company. We have Julius Avery directing this flick. It's a group of American soldiers. They're up in a plane. They're going to parachute down in France. It's the E before D-Day. Uh, they have to take down this tower. So from the get-go of this movie, the very beginning, you see these soldiers up in this plane and it's just amazing action. It's like super dark, you know, there's planes in the sky and fire and they have to parachute down. And just the camera work and CGI makes it super realistic through the fire and brimstone in the sky. And it just shot very, very well. And it really builds this intensity. And you can see what the soldiers are going through. And this is during World War II, so these are historic events. So intention, it really brings you in as an audience, interested to see what's going to happen. So essentially when they make it down, and they come across some really crazy Nazis that are making zombies, experimenting, um, and it turns into a straight horror flick. We have Joven Adipu, if you pronounce it. He plays the main character, Boyce, and we have White Russell playing Ford. Uh, Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn's son, he looks exactly like Kurt Russell, it's insane. A few times I've seen him in movies and TV shows, he was in Black Mirror, like a, like a young Kurt Russell, so now it makes sense. This is his kid, and he can really act, he's got some really good acting chops. He plays a colonel, he's a badass, you know, leading these soldiers, and the crazy shit that's happening on the ground with these Nazis, and them trying to stay together and survive. And it really built some great chemistry as to what's going on in the world at this time as well. And then also what they're coming across. This is definitely like a horror flick, but also with history with World War II. Really paints a really dark canvas, especially during the war times. And what people were coming across and soldiers and things like that. And throwing zombies. Um, you know, the zombies kind of makes it more of like a B movie. I think with building like a horror atmosphere around war, I think it really worked. Here and I, Julius Avery did a great job directing this and building this atmosphere. He was shot. There was a lot of great directing, a lot of great camera work. Uh, the camera makes you have like a claustrophobic feel to it. Um, and, and inside of this house, there's particular scenes. Um, and this crazy villain guy, I'm not going to say much about him. It showed these really badass zombies. You know, the practical effects of this movie were really top notch and it made it feel like a B movie. Uh, something you would probably see, you know, back in the 80s. With Overlord, there's a lot of great action scenes. Obviously, it be in war, so you know you're gonna have some great action. There's a lot of great horror. There's a lot of gore in this movie as well, and it gets pretty intense there for, for a while. And that's what I loved about this, you know, having like a B-style movie uh, thrown into historical events. And seeing zombies, they know what they're capable of. You know, there's gonna be some awesome gore, and they really pulled it off in this movie. I really liked the cast, too. They all had different personalities, but it really worked. I liked, uh, Wyatt Russell, yeah, I think he was really great as a colonel. Also like Boyce, which was the main character, I thought he did a great job in this movie. You see his character change throughout the movie. Um, you know, in the beginning he's kind of a pussy, and then the end, you know. It all changes when you come across zombies, and I think this actor is gonna really blow up. I thought he did a great job in this movie. I used to love zombie movies. I grew up on Romero flicks. Walking Dead came around, and I just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. But I think Overlord did the zombies right this time around, and had really great effects, and they were horrifying. There's no soap opera drama in this film, like The Walking Dead, so it was just a really great, intense flick. I'm glad Bad Robot was attached to this film as well. And hearing the buzz about this movie for so long, it surpassed my expectations. I had a great time with it. So if you guys have not seen Overlord, you definitely have to check it out. I'm going to give Overlord a four out of five zombie hair pieces. <laughs> So if you guys did see Overlord, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Myers signing out with some Nazi zombies. I feel like I'm playing uh, Call of Duty. Huh. <sighs> Until the next video review, cheese!